today we discuss the Martin SC-13E. Hey, James G here with Tarpley Music in Fort Worth, Texas. You can find us online at tarpleymusic.com. Please do us a huge favor, subscribe to the channel below if you haven't done so already. Just a little click, it helps us uh, quite a bit. So, Martin had a great idea that they wanted to try to get a guitar for predominantly acoustic guitar players, especially once you do a lot of soloing and a high uh, neck playing um, that was really, really comfortable to play because traditionally, acoustics would have a heel right here that tends to get in the way of your arm and then the cutaway being at a certain point. And I think they did a really, really cool job and they nailed it with this, what they call the Sure Align Neck System. So the first thing you see, flip this back again, so you see that this is almost like a set neck, like an Les Paul or something. It goes right in this pocket so that that big heel right there isn't all the way um, in, in your way and you can slide all the way up the neck. The other thing they did is this actually meets at the 13th fret instead of the 14th. And the other thing is this S body shape, right? If you look at it, it's got a little bit of an angle down here instead of this round bowl here. So they were able to move this cutaway. I can easily get to like 17, 19, very, very comfortably. And I do quite a few acoustic gigs where I'm having to do a lot of soloing and lead playing. So I, I noticed that right away. I'm like, wow, I can get up to 17 or 19. It's, it's very, very effortless. But with this S shape, they were able to keep a lot of the body because you're losing some here with the cutaway. You get this S shape, so you still see or feel it way back here, and you still get a lot of that huge sound. So the guitar still sounds really, really huge. Um, the other specs for it, it's a Sitka spruce top, of course, solid Sitka spruce. This is actually a Koa veneer. So from a dura durability standpoint, it's great, right? Very hard uh, and looks gorgeous, too. It's a really nice grain that they got on it. And then they keep up the durability thing because they have an ebony fretboard and an ebony bed. Just I think this is their modern belly shape. Uh, for this, but very durable uh, fretboard and the bridge. Get killer, killer sounds uh, out of that. And so the electronics on it, it's a Fishman uh, MXT. So sound hole right here, you've got your tone and your volume. It's got a built-in tuner, which is really, really killer because you can just look at it and it's a beautiful shot. You just look down right in the sound hole and you'll see it when the tuner is on. And it's very easy to see. I can literally just Boom, right there I can see uh, what note I'm on. And when you uh, turn on the tuner, it does, it, it shuts off sound as well. So you can tune and it's gonna shut off from the uh, the PA system or whatever you're going into. Uh, very flat neck, so it's a 16 inch radius. Uh, so it's the right fretboard to play um, for chord playing on acoustic as well as your solo playing, of course, because this is really designed for that. I mean, I'm easily getting up here 19. I mean, it just, <laughs> it's really, really comfortable to play. So the other cool thing about this is the low profile uh, velocity neck that it has. So on the back here, on the lower strings, it's a little thicker and then the higher strings, uh, it's a little thinner down here on the nut. What that does is as you go up the neck, that actually reverses. So once you get up here, you start getting more of your weight here, which makes sense because if you're up here playing higher notes, you want more girth to be able to stick into it and it's a little thin here. So it actually, starts off this way and then it almost does uh, like that. So it's a really, really cool idea. And at first I was thinking gimmick, right? That's eh, probably gimmicky, but then you start playing, you're like, not gimmicky. Uh, <laughs> it actually, it makes a whole lot of sense. Cause when you're up here, you want, you're not so worried about the thickness up here, you over there. So uh, really huge win into that. Not to mention this guitar sounds really, really good. Uh, both direct and mic'd up. So we're gonna hear it uh, played several different ways, a couple different mics and direct, and uh, you'll hear the beauty of this. So right now we just have the guitar going direct. It's going right into a direct box, right into the Focusrite interface into Studio One, just to give a nice direct sound. The tone knob and the volume are all the way open. Such a killer, killer full sound. 
So next up, I'm miking with a Sennheiser E906. This is a really great dynamic mic, which dynamics not uh, generally are not used for acoustics um, if you're only using one mic, but can work really well because it's really focused sound, especially if you got a lot of articulation or if you got a lot of punchy percussive sounds, it can really help. And for whatever reason, as I was moving this mic around, so this is a little little more off centered. It's actually going um, instead of going to 12th fret, it's kind of going to the other way, but. It really worked for miking this guitar, so. So next what we're going to do is we're going to put the direct signal back in. So you're going to get a combination of what you just heard with the original uh, direct signal. So if you're recording at home, especially, a uh, really common practice is to use one large diaphragm uh, condenser microphone. And you can get them anywhere from, you know, 99 bucks and up that do a great job. This particular one, this is an AKG C214 we use all the time. It's just a really killer mic for the money. So I've got it uh, pointed kind of up towards the 12th fret, and you're going to hear a nice big full sound from the condenser. So now like we did before, we're going to add that direct signal back in again. So you're going to hear the direct signal also with the condenser. So now we're going to play this thing in the mix, and I'm going to play some higher lead parts along with the tracks I made. All the rhythm tracks are also this guitar, so you can hear them together. Let's hit it, boys. <laughs> So as I went on to read about uh, why this guitar was made, and they really were saying, we really want to get a really comfortable playing guitar for that guy who's way up on the neck a lot, whether it's a guy who's doing a lot of solo acoustic gigs or playing solos at acoustic gigs, or maybe it's a guy who does a lot of tapping up. And it's a really brilliant design. It's extremely innovative. No, one, no one's done anything like this, but getting rid of that heel, the way the neck falls, I can get up to, uh, you know, 7 and 19. I can get up here really easily, as you saw uh, in the mix part where I'm just playing a lot up there. It's extremely comfortable. So I think they nailed that. And with this S-body type of shift, they didn't lose any body of sound at all. You heard in the, you know, playing the, the chord stuff uh, in the demos, it just sounds huge. It's really fun to play. It's extremely comfortable. Uh, this low profile velocity neck thing they did, it's really cool. Uh, it's like you almost don't even notice it until you go to another guitar and you're like, 
that a neck that maybe is just pretty standard kind of a shape. So anyway, we'd love to have you down. Come down to Tarpley and sit down and play this guitar and feel for yourself. Ask us any questions that you might have. Uh, we'd love to see you. So I hope you learned something from this. You got some interest in this guitar. If you did, please like the video below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It really, really helps us out. We really want to get uh, more information out there. And if you'd like to know as more videos hit, just turn on notifications and we'll see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.